According to Jesus, a rich man went into hell. And he has not come out yet. A rich man went into hell without his riches. So he with the most toys in the end does not win when he's without Jesus. That rich man, the Bible says, was tormented. In torment. Being tormenting. A rich man in hell. And the Bible says that he has his tongue. And he's able to speak. He's able to see in hell. And his request was, oh, if I could have a little drop of water to cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this place. We don't have that in Iowa. That rich man in hell said, oh, if I could just have a little drip, just a little drip of water. And yet we have bottles of water today. We have spring water. We have purified water. It comes in a plastic container. It's handy. It's chilled. It tastes good. And yet the Bible says Jesus Christ is the water of life. That rich man in hell said, oh, I just want a little drop of water. Oh, that's refreshing. But there's something more refreshing. God bless y'all. You have a good day. There's more refreshing when you drink of the spring of the fountain of God through Jesus Christ. That rich man in hell remembered something. He remembered his family. the gospel and to tell you do not come to hell your relatives in hell do not want you come to hell gotcha. and the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved I didn't say go to a church I didn't say get baptized I didn't say be good. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Praise the Lord. That is how you get to heaven. By the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's it. It's not what you can do. It's what Christ has done already. Christ has done for you is that he suffered and died according to the scripture and he was buried and he arose again the third day according to scripture now you try that you want to go to heaven under your own power you try dying you try being buried and then you come out of that grave three days and three nights you ain't gonna do it because only God could do it. And if you're part of a religion that doesn't think that Jesus is God, you've been deceived. Because God came out of that grave three days and three nights. According to the scriptures. You need to be saved. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when you come short of the glory of God, being a sinner, you will fall off into hell for all eternity. And you don't need to. You are hearing a loud mouth preacher proclaim that Jesus saves. 
God has told us that are saved, go ye to all the world and preach the gospel. Tell them, I am long-suffering God, that I am not willing that any should perish. And you're without excuse when you hear Jesus say, you cannot stand before God and say, God, I never knew. Remember that guy you hated? Remember that guy in bike vest? When he preached the gospel and you wish he'd shut up, God would say, that man was telling you about my son. That man told you to believe on Jesus to be saved. For with the heart, man believes on the righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There's no other name given amongst men whereby ye must be saved. And Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the words of Jesus. Is that plain and simple? to Jesus and repent of your sin. It's churn or burn. Plain and simple. If you reject Jesus, Jesus will reject you. That's off into a place called the lake of fire. And that's all eternity. Without time. Suffering. There's no way out. There's no relief. Release, relief, and grace and mercy come through Jesus. When we get in New Jerusalem, every tear shall be wiped away. A brand new body. No more pain, no more sorrow, no more departing, no more death. Through Jesus Christ, the Son. You got an achy, breaky heart? Is your body sore? Do you need medication upon Jesus and going to New Jerusalem? You don't need that no longer. You will not age in New Jerusalem. But that's all through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no more heartache in New Jerusalem. There's no more sin. You will have that perfect body in New Jerusalem through Jesus. You will be relieved of all discomfort in New Jerusalem by Jesus. What's amazing is every one of these people walking by will say they're Christians, but they won't be Christians. Most of them will say they're good. It's amazing. Totally amazing. The ultimate health care plan and God approves of this message is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will give you a sinless body, a brand new body, no more sin, no more curse, no more pain, no more sorrow, and there's no co-pays, there's no premiums, for Jesus Christ paid for the premium upon Calvary's cross with his holy blood. And Acts 20:28 20, says that that blood of Jesus is God's blood. That's how you get it. And it's so good that these people over here are marking the Catholic Church because the Catholic Church cannot save your soul. It's only salvation through Jesus Christ. And they've got a great point. But the greatest point is that Jesus saved. And Jesus Christ is not religion. Religion dies and stays in the grave. Jesus Christ came out of that grave three days and three nights according to the scriptures. You want to be God? You want to be God-like? You want to get to heaven by your God powers? Die. You'll do that the wages of sin is death. Be buried. They'll definitely bury you. You'll start stinking. And come out of that grave three days and three nights. And then you'll be God. But you're not going to do it. 
You cannot do it. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Your salvation and the merit to get to God is through Jesus and Jesus alone. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's Jesus. Hallelujah. John the Baptist said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And you cannot say, Oh, I'm a Christian. Saying you are a Christian and you're not through Jesus Christ, you're lying. That'd be like, oh, let's see. That'd be like Tom Cruise saying, I can drive NASCAR. That'd be like Tom Cruise saying, oh, I, I can be a bartender. That'd be like Tom Cruise playing all the different parts that he plays for Hollywood and he's not. Hello, boss. I'm sick. I don't feel well. And you're not sick. That's a lie. How you doing with how you treat your parents? Because the Bible says, honor your mother and father. If you have not treated them right, you are a sinner. You have need of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. I am a nice person. 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 I am